Yeah, it's a big disruption for many parents and students, and it's really not clear when Seattle Public Schools will be able to restart the impacted bus routes. Seattle Public Schools says starting Monday, it will suspend about 142 bus routes. The district contracts with First Student and says it was already short about 50 drivers daily, and it's losing an additional 20 who chose not to get vaccinated ahead of the October 18th deadline. It exacerbated a problem we already had. Seattle Public Schools says it does not have a precise number of kids who will lose their buses, but says about 6,700 students are on the affected routes, and roughly half do not regularly take the bus. Some kids will continue to have bus service, including many special education students, as well as students experiencing homelessness, foster students, and schools with large numbers of historically underserved students. The district stresses the suspensions are temporary, as first student works to hire more drivers. I expect we make improvements this month and next month. You know, we'll be later into the fall where we've covered all of this, given where we are and how fast we can reasonably expect to add drivers into the system. There's a nationwide shortage of school bus drivers, which has worsened during the pandemic. The state of Massachusetts even activated the National Guard to help transport kids. Seattle Public Schools is giving ORCA cards to many students so they can take public transportation. A lot of parents are also organizing carpools or groups of kids who can walk to class together while they wait for bus service to resume. Live in Seattle, Ted Land, King 5 News.